Yeah, hey, when it comes to losing weight, diet and exercise, they might not be equal factors. Yeah, now I used to hear a phrase like abs are made in the kitchen. I used to hear that. Oh, yeah. uh, that's uh, this morning. Also, the CDC has a note uh, before you go get your flu. You doing you doing crunches in the there, kitchen? Amy? Oh, in the kitchen? right here. Uh, health reporter <laughs> Haley Hernandez. Sorry, Haley, I got distracted. Sorry. No, I like that saying. I haven't heard it before. But the CDC has confirmed that the nasal flu vaccine was less effective than the shot among children in recent flu seasons. Medical experts. Experts did not recommend flu mist during the past two flu seasons because it offered less protection, they said, against H1N1. New numbers support that concern. Between 2013 and 2016, experts say flu mist was only 20% effective and the flu shot was 67% effective. The CDC voted to bring back flu mist this season after it was reformulated. Still, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends the shot is the best choice for children. So still going for the shot over the spray, guys. Now, you've probably heard of Tamiflu, but the FDA recently approved a new single-dose antiviral drug called Zofluza. They say it can shorten the symptoms of the flu, and it may reduce the risk of transmitting the flu to other people. The company says it's now available in most pharmacies, and just like Tamiflu, it's most effective if taken within the first 48 hours of symptoms. Still, though, many doctors say the best treatment is preventative, get your flu shot. Laws that restrict the sale of tobacco to minors may help reduce teen smoking rates. Researchers from the University of Southern California surveyed over 1,500 high school students. They found teens in areas with strict tobacco laws were more than a third less likely to have ever smoked than those in areas with more lenient laws. They were also less likely to have used e-cigarettes. And while your New Year's resolution may vaguely be to get healthy, what about being more specific? These women are looking to prevent Alzheimer's, arthritis, ease symptoms of chronic disease, and guess what, guys? It's working. Find out all the illnesses that you can prevent by starting just a 20-minute exercise routine today. That's it, huh? 20 minutes. Yeah. We'll start there. We'll build you up. You'll be fit and healthy in no time. I will say Love I've it. been carrying around some little exercises that supposedly you can do anywhere. That's good. In my oh, purse like for like the last week. Cool. I've taken it out once. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's better than zero, Amy. It's, yeah, it's in somewhere. there. Maybe you'll get motivated after you see my story. After I'll, you know all the diseases like that you that. can I'll be watching, yeah. So exactly. much stuff, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys.